Peggy 18. Zachary Levi here in the heart of London's famous West End. Behind me is BAFTA, the British Academy for Film and Television Arts. Why are we here? Excellent question. Uh, for starters, Tomb Raider, the series, has garnered a lot of love and accolade from BAFTA over the years. Uh, some of the key players on Crystal's dev team are uh, BAFTA LA members. And to top it all off, legendary video game composer Jason Graves is a BAFTA winner. We're going to catch up with him in just a bit, but first, a little trip to Raleigh, North Carolina, where we go behind the scenes at Jason's recording studio. These are the final hours of Tomb Raider. First thing we did was the theme. There have been many composers in the games or the films, but they've always used the original theme. They said, we want to start with a clean slate, a new theme. I did it on piano, very simple. I was really scared just to send it because I'm like, I don't know, I think this really works, I think I like it. We ended up taking that exact theme, the first demo I sent was on the first trailer, that exact same arrangement. So, Jason, currently you're working on this reimagining of Tomb Raider. When you're taking on a new project, mm -hmm. what are the things that attract you to that project? The heritage of a particular game, I think, obviously. And don't even get me started on Tomb Raider. I literally almost drove off the road. I was on the phone with the audio director. Like, oh, stop light! And I had to pull over a little bit to not hit the car behind me. What I loved about Tomb Raider, what really drew me to the project, was they had no pre-existing conditions. What because they do? wanted to get out of what mm -hmm. it used to be. They wanted something new, they wanted something fresh. Jason's done hundreds of games at this point. He was an easy choice for us to go with um, on paper because he has such great experience. I listened through a lot of different uh, material from a lot of different composers. I was really taken by how well he did the intimate stuff. The textures and the real, like, you know, intimate and vulnerable bits that we needed to highlight in the game were a great match for us. What is square one for you when you start wrapping your head around and going, this is where I feel like this world is going to exist? Main theme, call me old fashioned. Then it was a matter of finding out what kind of percussion would work. And always going back to the melody and the theme, because that's kind of the heart of the game. The most signature thing that we need to get right is Lara's theme. One of our big goals was that it can be used in any emotional context. What does it sound like? High action. What does it sound like when she's in pain? For music, the gameplay and the concept art, especially with the, the scavengers and kind of the shanty town, corrugated metal, how everything's kind of this amalgam of different stuff that they found on the island. Like, that's what I want the music to sound like. The bad guys are playing the music now. Alex said something like, it'd be really cool to have something, you know, chains on a metal board or like you're banging a metal fence. Two weeks later, Jason calls me up and he's like, so this guy who's like the sculptor who lives right around the corner from me, I was talking to him about the idea of creating an instrument. And I'm like, that sounds completely insane. We have to do that. <laughs> Tackling the score to one of the most iconic franchises in the world brought a unique challenge. How best to capture the emotional timbre of the characters and island in music? People, I give you the instrument. <laughs> the instrument. I was going to let Matt determine the aesthetics. I was really only concerned about the sound that the sculpture was going to make. Matt built this, which looks pretty much exactly like Laura's original homemade bow in the game. There's different timbres based on different materials. Metal, glass. It's a direct line from the plot, the characters, the story, the environment, straight to the sculpture. We always wanted the island to have that character in itself. Creating an instrument gave it this unique identity. It's like kind a of voice. Yeah. yeah. The very beginning of the game is, is nothing but the instrument. Ah! 
Who do you look at in video games or in film that you go, what they've done has shaped who I am and what I do for a living? They're all dead, unfortunately. What? Yeah, I know. It's classical composers. All classical? Yeah, I'm kind of going directly back to the source. Yes, yeah. yeah. Prokofiev's Tchaikovsky, uh, even for uh, some of the scary stuff, you've got Penderecki, who's a Polish composer. Actually, he's still alive. It kind of goes back to ballets or opera, mm. which is kind of the precursor to film and right. video games. Completely, you know, they yeah. were telling a story. Yeah. And that's what I love about that music. It, it tells a story. Even if you don't know the plot, you can listen to it. And film music's the same way. It's tough with games to do things that are subtle. <laughs> you want to make Lara relatable, make her realistic. Got another one. She went down over there. Tell her story from the beginning and show how she became the superhero she becomes. One of the first things that I ask any developer is mm. the emotion. Because mm -hmm. to me, that's the biggest thing that music can do in a tenth of a second. The music just, it nails the emotion. Wow, that was amazing, huh? I personally don't think I've ever sounded so good in an interview before. Although, Jason, Jack, and Alex are audio savants, so that would make perfect sense. I cannot wait to jump into this game, not just for the amazing action, but the emotion and mood and tone that they're going to set with their incredible skill. Um, tune in next time for a special secret announcement that is going to change the way you play Tomb Raider forever. See you soon.